Hi, this is Queen of Cups, and I'm here to do your Taurus update, June read. This is not resonate for every Taurus. I'll do anything you need be down in the description box below. I would like to take the time to thank you for your likes, shares, comment, and subscribes. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, you feeling some type of way too. Damn, everybody feeling some type of way. But why? In the month of June, what is going on? Oh, it's about to be Kansas season. Mm-hmm. And it's Gemini. Mm-hmm. No, I get it. Because I was... I ain't get it till I got to y'all ready. But some of everybody was feeling some type of way. I get it now. Totally understand. Yes. Um, so as you feel like you're um, having mixed emotions about a certain situation, people, place, or thing, okay? I feel like you're trying to make moves. You feel like you um, can't make moves. You feel restricted when it comes to certain things in your life. Um, certain people, places, and things, areas um, where you feel like you're getting over the hump, but then you're not getting over it. Um, or you just trying to, um, kind of, how should I put it? Stay calm overall about the situation, not let it burden you, not let it get to you. I also feel like you might have some external energy that you have to deal with. That is just like why you can't cooperate. You meet and resistant when they come resistance, when it comes to this situation, um, this external energy. Okay, and I feel like you you like it ain't you gotta be like that. So it's your job. What's going on with your job, Taurus? It's getting to you a little bit, a little bit. Just a little bit, low key. Taurus. Who is this fire sign? And this water sign, we finna see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. You feel grounded, but you don't feel grounded. If that makes sense. I don't know, Taurus. Now in the cups, you definitely have it. Mm, some of y'all drinking too. Um, or having drinks or, you know, this, she got like, it's red wine in this cup. Um, I feel like drinking make you happy. You like, she if I have a cup of wine, that'd be fine. She look happy on this card. She look like, she look happy wine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Got my glass of wine. I'm fine. Um, I feel like you have a, um, some type of wish fulfillment come to you in the month of um, June. I don't know why I want to keep seeing January. What happened in January, y'all? I don't know. I said that on, I think, Capricorn Leo video. Somebody video. One moment, guys. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm back. I don't know what happened in January. But, um... Oh, Taurus, you thought that she was pregnant in January. Nine months, nine cups, nine months of emotions. I'm done, Taurus. Not today. I like it. They just came to me with that. Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. I feel like when it comes to... um. You heal in a certain situation, it'll be the best for you. If if it's not with a person, place, a thing, or just inner um, energies within yourself, it will make you very happy, okay? I feel like you, this is what you want. This is what you're trying to seek is that inner happiness when it comes to a certain situation or with a fire sign, a Leo area side of series, okay? I feel like all you want is peace. Told you that Knight of Wands. Mm-hmm. I feel like you feel very passionate about this whatever it is something is coming your way in the month of june as well that's going to make you happy emotionally happy okay it was some type of feeling that you've been having as well um about maybe not having a job maybe income or something like that okay or just trying to move forward and feel like you're not getting nowhere towards okay um i feel that um Whatever this is, you're very passionate about it. You want to go forward. You want you can't wait till you see the results when it comes to this. Or this is this person. Okay. You make somebody happy to us. Okay. 
you make some this knight of wands happy they have passion for you that um they want to heal the situation when it comes to you too as well yep now so you got a lot of nine now number nine might be very significant to you um you have the knight of swords Nine of Swords. Um, I feel for some of you guys, you might not be able to get no sleep during this time. You um, you got a lot of things on your mind. You're thinking about a lot of things. Um, what can make you happy? What move you can do next? Um, what are you passionate about? What can you pay your passion towards? Um, also, too, this is some this Knight of Wands, Leo, Air, Sagittarius. That's on your mind as well, or you on their mind. I feel you could feel the mutual energy. Okay. Some of you might be having nightmares as well or afraid to go to sleep because you feel like you're going to have nightmares. So what you got going on? I feel like you're going back to the drawing board when it comes to certain situations. Seven of Pentacles, you're like, where can I move here? Where can I do with that? How can I move this money around? How can I do that? How can I pay for this and pay for that? This, that, and the third, okay? You're definitely going to be recalculating a whole bunch of things when it comes to financial things. Um, the reason why, because you want to know how, what, where, and when, and why, okay, when it comes to your financial stability. Um, like I say, some of you guys want to definitely move forward and pursue something that makes that you're passionate about okay that you have on your mind and have a little doubt about with certain things as far as maybe wanting to uh, move whatever okay um or um for some of you guys you want to um you're trying to figure out why a certain plant won't grow as well or why it's um or if you can grow some more, okay? You might be into gardening as well in the month of June. Might be growing some pretty yellow flowers. Some of you guys, you might have a greenhouse as well. Want to tune up your greenhouse and think that it's going to cost some money, okay? Eight of Swords, I feel like this is definitely you trapped in your mind about certain situations. Once again, Taurus, didn't I tell you? I think I told you a couple of weeks ago. Not even a couple of weeks ago. I think about a week ago. Don't get in your head. Don't do it, Taurus. Don't do it. Don't get wrapped in your head. Don't think negative. Because when you think negative and get wrapped in your head, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have this moment where you're stuck in there. You can't sleep. You don't know which way to go. You don't know how to think. You're recalculating things 20 million times, going over your checkbook 20 million times, going over your plans 20 million times. And you just you feel like it's a repetitive cycle where you're just going over the same thing over and over and over and it's definitely dealing with your finances so you definitely have some financial issues that you're going through in the month of june pisces cancer scorpio you're definitely going to be in your feelings when it comes to this situation as well okay um also too you might have pisces cancer scorpio in mind uh, when it comes to calculating them into some type of financial um financial endeavor that you have going on you might be on a Pisces, be on a Pisces cancer scorpio mind as well or this is you having them on your mind can't sleep look at that and the tower came out scorpio scorpio and everybody shit what is scorpio doing and i think i already did this but yeah because they yeah they had a lot going on um, I feel like this is going to be a tower where it's going to be a good tower because it's going to give you the emotional reflection that you need when it comes to certain situations and what to do next when it comes to you um, grounding yourself and also to, um, and also to um, getting your financial situations together. OK, I also um, I also um, know that. Um, you're going to get distracted from planning over and over and over and over and over and over again, okay? Because it's not going to do you any good. Because I feel at this point, it's just repetitive. It's just repetitive and it's going to drain you, okay? You definitely might have a tower moment with the Pisces Cancer Scorpio as well, okay?
Okay. Sorry. Or oh, um, Scorpio might be helping you go over your um. You might be trying to get a planner, or um, a, fin a financial assistance as well, or getting financial assistance from a Scorpio as well. Scorpio out here helping everybody. Dear finances, what Scorpios on? Um. Or giving you some advice about um how to do something when it comes to your finances as well. Okay. King of Swords, this is definitely you getting discipline, reading up on how can you uh, make these moves, um, get your um, get your books in order, uh, get your finances in order, um, just you in your head. Like I, I've been said that, but the King of Swords is going to come out all late. This is you, like I said, <laughs> wrapping your head on top of the Eight of Swords, doing your books, um, trying to really focus on trying to get things together. I feel like you're going to, it's going to help you get disciplined as well for some of you guys um, and really kickstart um, you doing whatever it is you have to do when it comes to your finances or making the moves that you want to move to make when it comes to this nine of cups. I feel you. some of you guys want to go back to school or going to decide to take up some course or would have you to better yourself. Okay. You're definitely going to be in a learning mode this month. Um, trying to educate yourself, learn more things and, um, stuff like that. This is also, um, this, um, you might have, um, an emotional, realization about uh Gemini Libra Aquarius about how you feel towards them okay why they maybe be so wrapped in their head why they the way they are okay you're going to discover that this month as well okay yeah somebody's definitely spying on you as well I also feel that um, this is a person, somebody that's a, at a distance to you or act distance as well. They might come back and need your help as well. Or you might need this person's help as well. I definitely feel like towards you looking like you feel okay, but on the inside, you're really not. You have a lot of things that you have going on. Don't nobody know. A rest will be important to you at this time as well. You might be kind of daydreaming about a whole bunch of things, thinking about a whole bunch of things you want to move forward on and not moving forward on. Okay, say you're gonna do, you're not doing them tours. Okay, um, for some of you, it's draining as well. That type of behavior. Some of you just feel like I don't feel like doing nothing. So you might have a little bit more lazy days in the month of June. Okay. That's because you, you're more in your head, wrapped up in your head. You need to move out of that space where you can think clearly. Okay. What I say, it might be this Leo. Something going on with the damn Leo. Who you and Leo might be taking a break or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might be taking a break from them. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody definitely need to get the strength. You might be on a break from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, and I feel they need the strength to come towards you or this is you, them, okay? Um, you're definitely going to need the strength to um, come out of this energy that you're in, okay? And um, have that boldness about you where you need to continue on knowing that you have to continue on to do whatever it is that you need to do to get to these nine of cups, okay? Um, the chariot at the bottom, just like I say, you want to move forward or this is this emperor coming towards you want to move forward with you. Okay. Some of you guys, this is a spiritual connection when it comes to you guys. Ten of cups as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. Whew. Told you I don't be doing nothing. Be out of breath. How you sitting there and be out of breath? I'm trying to tell you. blossoming you are just getting started so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up what i just say taurus what i just say taurus i'm gonna I'm a name y'all's what i named virgo then we just talk about this we just talked about this we just talked about this be strong you are stronger than you think you are your strength assures a happy outcome we just talked about this some of you, the color purple might be significant to you. This is your crown chakra color. I feel like you need to open your crown chakra. You need to meditate. Um, I keep saying contemplate. I don't know why. Because um, you shouldn't be contemplating. But, um, I mean, sometimes you have to. But, mm -mm. Um, meditate. Um, 
focus on your crown chakra, open it up, expanding, um, allowing yourself to receive and also relax when it comes to that chakra. Okay. I feel like your crown chakra is probably, you probably getting a lot of headaches. Okay. You, the room probably spinning. Okay. Your blood pressure probably up. Okay. Um, try to take it easy when it comes to that. Okay. I feel like you need to, um, definitely work on that chakra, take some rest, meditate, they say burn some sage as well. Okay, maybe take a spiritual bath. Unconditional love. Love yourself and others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Okay, and I feel this is this bond that you have between somebody or this is them with you. Okay. Boundaries. Love yourself to say no to others. Demand your time and energy. And this is what you're going to do in the month of June. You're going to be like, I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. I'm trying to work on shit that I need to work on. Here you come with this shit I ain't got time for. I definitely understand it. Okay. I'm telling that crown chakra a little cloudy. It just keeps saying crown chakra. And I'm about to get up out of here because y'all ain't finna give me no headache. Mm -mm. So y'all know I love y'all. I'm trying to give me no headache. This is what you need to work on or work towards. Okay. Let me see. Hold on. We're going to do these cards. Okay. Let's pick one. 14 soulmate. 14, the number four or one might be significant to you. Soulmate. When we talk about soulmate, this is also, um, this is this friendship. This is this person that um, you may see yourself um, that's coming back towards you, wants to be with whatever. Just, I feel like you and this person may connect. This kid, When I say, and when we talk about soulmates too, let me tell you something. It could be family members, it could be friends, it can be lovers, okay? So everybody has soulmates. They come in different shapes, forms, color, what have you, okay? And relationships as well. Um, some people don't understand that your own mother, your own sister, your own brother can be your soulmate, okay? Um, so this is a relationship that you have that's very co strongly connected to one another or um, it feels spiritually connected to one another and I feel that you have to um, stop worrying about this relationship or what have you and about it coming towards you or what have you okay i feel like some of that is um a blockage as well okay for some of you this is you looking for someone as well okay and that might be on your mind as well like you maybe need help with your bills you maybe need help or what have you and you want a significant other to come in and um share this mutual energy with okay um for some of you guys i feel um you're just also too, um, you can also, um, you want to, I'm trying to see how should I put it. Also too, this might be somebody, um, that you want to connect with that's actually deceased as well to help you with these type of things, moving out your head, um, moving forward and getting the things that you want as well. Okay. I feel like the soulmate, um, whether um, this person is living or not, I feel they uh, will come through and help you out to us, okay? I feel that you are strongly connected with this person spiritually as well. And once you call on them, they will help you out and be able to help you move forward as well to us, okay? okay. Or in this period, um, on the 3D or 5D, either way, they will come through. I feel um, you just have to get some things um, clear your crown chakra first so you can um, manifest the proper things that you um, need to manifest for as you getting your nine of cups, your wish fulfillment, okay? All right, Taurus, I hope this helped. I will talk to you later. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you later. Bye.